Hello, this is a silly story called The Idly Widdly Piddly Pop Off by Daniel Corcoran. All the animals were sleeping. It was quiet in the loft. When suddenly they were woken. by a stinky, sly pop-off, an idly widdly piddly pop-off. Here's the pop-off. Woo-poo-poo! Brock! Not a squeaky kind of pop-off, not like a rusty wheel, Freaked! Nor a teeny weeny bum burp, no pathetic little squeal, but a silent, deadly stinker that made birds and beasts all real. So who did do this idly, widdly, piddly pop off? Turkey, was it you? It was not. I was asleep. Well, Mr. Woolly, was it you? Was it you? Sure. Blame the sheep. We must find the perpetrator, whether sooner, whether later. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. I think they can still smell it. Did it bubble from the pig slops? and put Percy off his chow? Did it ooze up from the cow plops and scare the milking cow? <coughs> <coughs> said the cow. Did it pop out concentrated from the spider's tiny tum? Pooped! Or had it just vacated Percy's bloated piggy bum. They had to know who popped off. Who did do the idly widdly piddly pop off? I wonder who did it. They pondered hard throughout the day to try and work it out. If all they ate was grain and hay, how did it come about? A mix of foods made up that brew and turned it truly foul. With meals of seeds and mice and bugs, it had to be the owl. Do you think it was the owl? Such weird and wacky food only Oscar Owl would scoff. So surely Oscar Owl had done the idly widdly piddly pop off. I think it was the owl. Now what should the animals do with that foul smelling pong? Percy tried the art of Kung Fu, but something went wrong. hey -ya! Ya! Well, he didn't get the pop-off, but he did accidentally hit Mouse. Horse tried to run away with the pop-off on his back, but that idly widdly piddly pop-off slid slyly through a crack. The honeybees had a clever plan and zoomed across the shed. They tried to scare the pop-off off, but they were left for dead. It was too stinky for those bees. Even Rumble tried to help. Look out, they heard him shout as he shot across the barnyard, but the pop-off knocked him out. Bam! Enough is enough the animals said, packing their things to leave. 
when into the barn strolled a clever goat who went by the name of Steve. He had an idea to clear the air by starting up a fire. A dreadful cry rang through the barn, more tuneful than a choir. No! What's going to happen? Woomph! Bang! Crackle and poof! The pop-off went off in a fiery woof. The barn was black and smoking. The animals all sizzled. But they stood and cheered, Hooray! The pop-off has been frizzled. Then breathing in some cool fresh air, they took it on the chin rubbed their eyes and brushed their coats and finished with a grin. What a funny story. The end. <laughs>